What's going on everybody? My name is Steven. You guys are watching the Fowler Airgun channel. Look, before I get too deep into this video, I want to start out by giving a reminder to everybody. It's August the 31st, 2024, and I'm doing a giveaway for a full auto HK416 BB gun, okay? It's for an air gun, not a real gun. YouTube gave me a strike for that video where I announced the details on how to actually get entered in to do that. So unfortunately, I don't feel like we got a lot of outreach on uh, that video. However, I'm here to tell you that if you want to get entered into that video, you just need to go and watch the actual video with the details in it on how to get entered in because then you have to go over to a community post and enter on that community post. With that being said, hopefully this video will be able to get some outreach here. We'll be able to get back on, you know, a little bit of footage for y'all out there and uh, some entertainment. And I'm going to entertain myself today with something that I haven't done in a while and hopefully it works out anyways. So I have here my Webley Nemesis PCP converted pistol. So this was originally a CO2 side. It's got this little bolt action here on it. Uh, CO2 pistol. And I've converted it over to a PCP air gun. So it has a little micro manometer on the front there. It has my bulk air fill uh, QD quick, uh, quick disconnect here on the bottom. And uh, I got its little red dot sight here on top. I'm gonna be shooting some of these 20, I think these are 27 grain. Yeah, we got 27.217. Try to give you a look at these here. So these are 27 grain slugs here. And 217, not 218, but 217. Nice size slug. Gonna be shooting, we've got magazine loaded up here. Gonna be shooting today long distance with PCP air gun, or PCP air pistol rather, just to see how accurate I can be. So I actually haven't shot this pistol in quite a few months. It's just kind of sat uh, up on the shelf and hasn't been used. So I figured good opportunity to come out. And uh, we're filled up to about almost 2,400 PSI in this thing. So it's loaded to the max with air. And uh, basically I'm just going to stand here. And I'm going to give it my absolute best, uh, my best attempt anyways. I got a really big round gong out there. It's probably, uh, you know, I'd say about... 20 inches, 19, 20 inch gong out there at 55 yards, okay? And on that gong, I have painted a silhouette of a crow out there, and I'll take you down there and show it to you real quick. All right, guys, so here we are getting out to 55 yards away from the shooting booth back there. Got a little camera set up here to give us some footage down range, and this is the gong here. This is the target we're gonna be shooting at, so Roughly the size of my hand, I'd say it's a it's a small crow silhouette. It's probably about eight inches, somewhere nine inches uh, in length, anyways, and probably only about two and a half, three inches wide. We're gonna take a couple shots at that and just see if we can't put anything on it. All right, guys. So loaded up, like I said, with these 27 grain slugs here, and uh, sitting at 2,400 psi, roughly. And I just want to go ahead and show anybody out there maybe doubting we are shooting these big old slugs here. And uh, I believe I have 12 shots here to give it a try. I don't know how many times I'm going to be able to hit it. Again, I haven't shot this thing in quite some time out here at this distance. But uh, yeah, it's a nice little bolt action pistol here. And a uh, real slim line, very ergonomic. And uh, just a very all around favorited plinking tool here. I really enjoy picking this thing up and shooting it. So here we go. We got the gong, 55 yards, and uh, see what we can get out there. Okay, so we got a hit there. And I was just aiming right at the top of that gong there, so. Another nice hit. Another nice hit. It's kind of hard to see exactly where these are going. Looks like I'm kind of getting in that area of uh, that crow. Maybe a little high. Not quite sure yet. Let's see if we can see anything a little better here. Well, oh, that one looked like it dipped off to the right there. Let me turn the uh, red dot down here so it's not quite so bright. Shrink it down a tiny bit more here. Sounds like a pretty good hit. Let's get one more on there real quick and then take a look at it. Okay, I think these are flying off to the right, so 
I'm going to go one more here, and then we'll go down there and take a look at it. And I'm going to try and give it some hold a bit more off on the uh, left side here. Okay, well that one looks like I just went right over the top of it. Velocities climb with this a little bit before they dip, so let's take a look and see what we got. Alright, so how about that? I actually come out here and I was pretty surprised at what I was able to do. So uh, we got one, two, three, four. We definitely got a dead crow in there. I'm not sure if this is a hit. No, I don't believe that is one. Maybe right here though, possibly is a hit. I have to look at the uh, camera footage to tell for sure, but we definitely got one on there. So it looks like I said... I'm just breezing a little bit over to the right here and I'm literally just putting the dot right right up here on the very top of this uh, gong here so I'm going to give it a little bit more hold just a small bit hold right over the top and try to scoot it so I'll probably be aiming somewhere like right in this area here and see if we can't nail this crow a couple more times. Alright so I just went and aired this thing back up not really needing to I'm actually going to go ahead and just shoot this entire magazine out there on this go around here just missing the one slug on the one side so we'll go ahead and top that back off on that side i like these magazines these uh tandem dual indexing magazines here you fill up one side flip it over and just go ahead and insert and shoot your next side here works really well but uh yeah we're gonna shoot some more of these slugs out there we got that crow one time out there i think i can get them again now i know where i'm shooting at because again i i can't see anything i'm just shooting red dot sight here and uh you know we're not making really big hits on the gong out there so you know it's it's a bit difficult to see from here actually 55 yards it's pretty difficult to see but uh i'm gonna go ahead right now and uh put put the camera on out there and see if we can't go ahead and hit that crow a couple more times all right aired back up like i said about 2400 psi roughly we're gonna go ahead and just dump this entire magazine out there i just ran all the way back from down there so it'd be interesting to see how i how I do with the uh, being all out of breath and stuff, but running out of uh, battery down there on the camera, so let's try to make it haste, make haste here and uh, see what we can do. I'm gonna use the adjusted point of aim here, which would be just to the top left of that gong out there, and then see what happens. One. That looked like it might have been a pretty good hit. that one. I can see them a little bit more standing on this side over here as compared to over there where the sun's hitting me in the face a little bit more. Looking good. Alright, now let's go ahead and just switch it over. Same magazine, just a different side here. And uh, compensate a little bit for the drop here I'm gonna get. And let's see what happens, just a tiny bit. Oh, I'm not sure if that one was, uh, that was probably a bit low. Let's try again. Mm, that one too, get some drop here. I'm gonna give it just a little bit more hold over here. Mm. Not hitting anything on these last ones, am I? Ooh, I think that one might have hit my camera or my camera stand. Let's try it again here. I haven't hit this not one single time, and I think I got one shot in here. I got hit at least one more time here. Well, I missed on all last six shots there but that's okay those uh first six were probably pretty spot on let's go take a look at it and see how i did all right now we did i was actually rather impressed with this to be honest with you guys uh we made our correction here like i said originally i was putting it just quite literally right on the very very top edge here and again i haven't shot this thing in months so i have no idea where it was dropping that was just my best educated guess based off of the velocities and uh i was holding here and we got a lot of them that were kind of down in this area we got one on there but then i came made a correction was kind of holding it just above right here which again the dot is like this big through the uh the sight from out there 
and uh, I can't actually believe that I managed to hit this thing quite a few times you can see where they were all corrected they were all a bit more off to the left side here looks like maybe we got one down here perhaps but uh I think we had one originally there so we got them one two three at least three more times from 55 yards I was able to hit that thing so that's that's pretty cool stuff there I'm pretty pretty uh pretty happy with those results to be honest would you anyways guys i just wanted to come bring you a little bit of entertainment come out here and shoot the pistol off a little bit and have a little bit of fun with it hope you all enjoy this video guys as far as the hk 416 giveaway do not forget to go watch the video if you want to get a chance to get entered in it's a really easy contest that i got set up for everybody i hope you all enjoy that hope you all enjoy this video if you do just do me a favor give it a thumbs up so we can circulate this content because youtube is uh is not liking this content guys that's just a fact uh and really it's because they think that this is real gun stuff over here and uh with all the bots that are in control of things because that is what's going on it's not being human reviewed unless i'm pushing it to get human review and with that being the case they're gonna they're doing their best to demonetize me they're doing their best to make sure that this channel is not getting the outreach that it should my algorithm is down in the toilet so please if you could just do me one thing give it a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more from this uh crazy old circus guys and as always i'll see y'all in the next one